What's up, girlfriend? Something's going on. You got a look about to tell me what's wrong. Hello, everybody. I am Jack Lucent, and today I want to show you one of my more interesting builds. It took me a while to uh, master. I had to destroy it, recreate it, destroy it, recreate it, etc., etc., over and over again until I found a build that just worked. And here it is. I call it the Mexican Villa. I'm not really sure what these houses are called. Okay, so I'm going to get a good aerial view of what it looks like. Absolutely stunning from above. I tried to go with an equilibrium look, make it look as even as possible. Uh, more visually pleasing to the eye. But anyway, here's the um, entryway, the courtyard, or just the garden area. Now note, I haven't done too much to it. It's just a shell. The entire inside is empty, but still pretty cool. Okay, these are glass. These are this is just for uh, looking outside. Oh, this is a big room. It's probably gonna be a bedroom or something. I'm not entirely sure. You get a gorgeous view to the mountainside or hillside. I don't know. This place is gonna have a lot of windows, so brace yourself. I mean a lot of windows. Okay, so this right here is probably the kitchen. I'm not completely done with it. Don't know what all I'm going to do to it. I try to make it look as visually pleasing as possible while keeping it very spatial. That we have room to work. But you do get a very beautiful view of the... Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if that's a mountain or a hill. I'm... Just gonna say hill, because that's the hill over there. Yeah, you get beautiful views from all sides. Um, storage closet. Storage closet. Because this is the kitchen after all. This is the main hall, the main entryway into the house. I got me some little axolotl friends over there. You get a beautiful view of the mountain over there. I'm just gonna call it a mountain. Screw it. Um, we'll visit upstairs here in a sec. First, let's just go around and just look at the entire house. Very, very special rooms. I need to add a couple of windows over here. Not really sure what this is gonna be. I could make it to a workshop if I wanted to. I mean, it is way out here. All right, now let's go upstairs. I think there's two or three upstairs, depending on where I'm at. Damn, there's a lot of doors. All right, so this right here is, I don't even know what it is. But it's got a balcony. Oh, that's a bell tower right there. Very, very beautiful rooms. Uh, when you go through here, it gets kind of narrow. So I don't really know what I can do with this. I think I built that house right over there. I don't 
like leaving all these doors open. Um, it's the same thing. Oh, no, no, it's not the same thing. Let's go in here. I think my sister was going to choose a room. She never did. Her friend was supposed to choose a room, too. I'm going to guess this was supposed to be a bathroom. Yeah, look at that view. Oh, I got a lightning rod at the top of the tower. You know, just in case something stupid happens. <clears throat> lightning. Do oh, I was like to say, do I have windows? Alright, let's go up. I want to look at my bedroom. This is my bedroom. It's not much, but I like it. It's because of the way I built everything. I get a lovely view of the roof. From all sides. I honestly hate it. And I mean, I hate it. But, it's a part of the build, so I accept it. Having the highest room in the house is... Something I like to have. Alright, one more aerial view. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. All right, so that concludes the video. That is all we have time for. Thanks for tuning in. Ciao. Why so wrong to wish that they would see things like I do? And my so wrong to think that they might love me too? Why shouldn't?